Hi everybody, it's me Chanel here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is going to be another makeup video all about contouring. Now contouring is a makeup technique that I have been using for the better part of 10 years. I have been using it ever since I was a closet, closet cross-dresser. I've been using it ever since I was doing drag makeup and ever since I also started to learn a little bit more feminine natural makeup. And I love contouring and it is one of my favorite processes and I use it every single time I do makeup. Even if I have to do my makeup in 15 minutes, I will always contour. And so let us get into it, but remember to like and subscribe, put those comments in the comment section, keep it respectful and hit that bell button. Now, this has been Nikki Chanel, and I hope you enjoy the video. Now, let's get into a brief history of contouring and why it's suddenly really popular today. Now, contouring is a method of makeup application that modifies your face. Now, it is designed to highlight and accentuate certain elements of your face, and depending on either a dark or a lighter color, it will modify based off of how you see that so that when your eyes look at your face, it is seeing like the difference in that. Now. When I was doing research for this video, I came about that contouring actually started about in the 1600s. Think of like Shakespearean theater and how they used to have men playing all the female parts. It came apart as that, as to create more, more credence to the illusion, if you could say. And then with modern makeup application, contouring started to take off. Contouring was always there, but it wasn't like the primary focus of like makeup tutorials like this one. Now, it really started to come about with the advent of like the beauty blender, really prevalence of cream makeup and the Kardashians. The Kardashians being the Kardashians, they are known for all of their plastic surgery and their pursuit of beautiful faces and all that. And contouring is used to do that. Like if you've ever heard of the 10 minute nose job, that's what contouring is. It is a makeup application designed to change up your face to make it appear more beautiful and in a more feminine way. It also started to gain really popular with RuPaul's Drag Race. A lot of the drag queens on there, such as Raven, contour and its own became like almost an art form of drag. There was a lot of people doing it at this time, Huda Beauty. There was so many contouring things. And then what also started happening was contour kits. Contour kits came about in this time. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is extremely old. This is very old. This was like, probably like 2015. Contour kits started kicking in. You started seeing Fenty Beauty with concealer sticks and concealer really started to kick in once the age of like the Instagram and contouring really kicked in because it looks really good with pictures as in my intro video. Now let's get into contour application. Now there's a lot of processes to do this and in some of my previous videos, you will see me do my face and my concealer. Concealer is what I use to contour and there's a lot of other ways to contour such as there's a light contour where you just do it with like shadow and highlighter. And that's more near the end of my application process, but I like to use concealer sticks. Specifically, I use this one right here, MAC 24 Hour Studio Smooth Wear Concealer. This is what my favorite contour is. And, but when I started though, I used heavy contour. Like I used this thing. You can see all of the stuff that I used in here, specifically with this brush actually. And I'll get into this stuff. And makeup palettes, contour palettes were really popular. I don't really see many contour palettes being created nowadays because contouring has kind of become like a really, it's not nearly as prevalent I see in makeup as it was back when I was first starting makeup in like 2009 to, to about 2015. Then there's also the ways of concealer sticks. This is a concealer stick from Fenty Beauty. This is Mocha, this is kind of a darker color. Uh, Bobbi Brown has a lot of really great concealer sticks. MAC has concealer sticks such as this one right here. These are all methods of contour use. And when I started in drag, I'll throw up a picture right here. When I started in drag, I used a lot of contouring because my goal was to emulate my favorite drag queens such as Raven, Alyssa Edwards, Alaska Thunderfuck. Like that was what I wanted to do and so I really hit home in this like heavy contour vibe, this like really dark colors. And so contouring for me back in the day took about an hour and a half because it was just so long. I used so much product. Like you can see how much I used in this thing. You can see how dark this freaking brush is and how thick this one is. And there were so many ways to do it that finally when I started transition and HRT kicked in and all that, I noticed that my face started to become a lot more female. So I was like, okay, let's tone down the contouring. 
where I still do it, but it's not nearly as prevalent. So now I just kind of do what I call a toned down version of my old drag look. Now, there's also a lot of different types of contouring. Now, for a while there, there was some crazy videos where people were like giving themselves abs with contouring, like they were modifying their butts with contouring, they were modifying like the smoothness of their legs. It's pretty interesting. And the methods that I use for myself is I use cheeks and I do the nose. The nose is one of the things that I really do because I like the idea of like a super thin nose. So that is what I do with contouring wise. Now, when you get into application process that I do nowadays, I think I'll do a little bit modified makeup with this contouring idea, just so you can kind of see the difference. Now, I'm gonna take my nice thin brush right here. This is a very good brush that I use for the outsides of the nose or areas that I really want to get overkill with. And I take a small amount of this, just a small amount. You can see that right there. And what you do on the nose, and this is one of my favorite contouring methods, is you follow the rim of your nose. So you follow the rim. So small strokes give the best results. And I've already done my foundation as part of my makeup process, just so I can skip to this point. And you see that? You can already start seeing that right there. Now, what this does is that's a dark, that's a darker area compared to the lighter, which I'm gonna show you in a second. And your eye is drawn to the lighter area, thus making your nose smaller. And the tighter you make that line is how you create a smaller nose with makeup. So we'll do this again on the other side. I have my mirror here so I can see how this is looking. Small brush strokes work the best. Okay, so that's about the most that I'm gonna do nose contour wise. I don't do extreme contour anymore. I'm not really into that stuff anymore. And it also takes forever to blend with a beauty blender, but that's essentially what that looks like right there. Now we're gonna take my 24 hour concealer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a nice gentle line all the way down the nose, right between those two lines. Then we'll do the rest of the stuff that I do like this. I'll do a modified form of concealer, just so you can see the application process. Now, see the line between those two other lines that we created. When we blend that out, that is going to accentuate the narrowness of the nose. That is the contouring that I do. Now, there's also the matter of cheeks. Now, with the cheeks, you generally wanna create like this area right here about where your cheekbone is. I put lighter colors, which I'm gonna do right now. Then same on the other side. I also do this area of the forehead up to about this line right there. And then down here below the cheekbone and below the jawbone, I do a nice swipe right there. Coming down to here, spread this in. You can also do neck contouring where it's the same principle and I just make a nice line like that and that's it. Now, if you were gonna do the dark colors, let's just do the dark colors just for the fun of it. You would put the dark colors here. So when you blend this in, it gives you a smaller face structure. Same with here. And same with here. And also go underneath the jawline, but I'm not gonna go over cable contouring right now. This is just for examples. And then you blend it with the Beauty Blender. And then skip this part. Okay, so the concealer has been blended in and you can already see a small difference in my face structure. Very small difference. You can see that the lighter color is starting to really accentuate in the areas that I wanted it to. This area around the nose is always kind of an issue to blend. But as you can see, my nose does actually look a little bit smaller, not from a side profile, but from straight on. So in pictures, if you highlight it well, it will look good. My cheeks, you can also see the kind of the difference in the cheek color as well. 
that right there, you can really notice that is the contouring right there where you can see the lighter color as compared to the darker color. Same with here. Overall, it just kind of changes up the structure of your face. So I would call that like a five minute facial surgery. Now I'm gonna go finish my makeup, do my hair, and we'll see the finished product. Hey, okay, thank you for watching that little video all about my contouring. Now contouring is a pretty simple process that while it does take a little bit of time to learn all of the highlighting and angles of the face, once you learn it, it's relatively simple because like you saw in the video, that is a really simple form of contour and you can see that once I do the rest of my makeup, it really makes it look good. Now, one thing to really bring attention to is this area right here. This is one of the highlights of contour and that is one of the focus areas. Now, as always, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, share it to your friends or family or whoever is a makeup connoisseur. This has been Nikki Chanel. Love yes.